All right. Uh, you know that saying about opportunity doesn't knock twice. Does that apply to elevators? Well, here's the deal. Lisa Murphy uh, talks about the elevator pitch. If you're on an elevator with somebody important, you want to make an impression, you got to have your canned speech down just so uh, because that could be the opportunity of a lifetime. Yep. Opportunity knocking twice. Elevator. Oh. My dream job would be a director. I really want to be a doctor. What would you do if you unexpectedly met the one person who could give you the job of your dreams? If all you had was one elevator ride to make your case. I would just have to say that I would love to work for them. I think it would be a, a great opportunity to, um, to tell you about all my qualities. Winging it doesn't work. Mark McDaka specializes in effective communication. His latest book is titled, So What? How to Communicate What Really Matters to Your Audience. Too often, we all fall in love with talking about what we like to talk about, and we forget to talk about what matters to the person we're speaking to. We tested out Mark's okay. approach on one of our aspiring reporters, Raven Santana. The goal, the perfect elevator pitch. To simulate real-life conditions, Mark and Raven met in, you guessed it. I'm Raven Santana. Hi, Raven. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Pretending Mark could give her the job of her dreams, and without any training at all, here's how the first pitch went. What do you do here? I'm actually a trainee here at Fox, so I work at the assignment desk. I feel produced. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very well. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Here's Mark's initial assessment. It didn't move the needle. It wasn't enough to cause me to say, hmm, that young woman's got something that I need to know more about. Mark's first recommendation, don't get into the details. Focus on the big picture. It's very easy to talk about specifically what you do. I put package together, I can get MOS, I can do some of the best sound bites, but let's talk about what that actually does. And think of your elevator pitch as a hook. It's not necessarily meant to seal the deal. In this 30 seconds we're together, that you've said something to me that's compelling enough that I want to know more. After practicing the pitch a few more times, we gave it another go. But you know how so many reporters are so busy that they need to be at two places at once? Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, I make that possible. I go out, I feel produced, I pre-package, and get the segments ready to make the best show that airs. Mark says only practice makes perfect, but he did acknowledge that even with a little coaching, it's possible to make big improvements. Why don't you take one of my cards? Thank you. And uh, we should talk. Nice That'd be to meet great. You. Thank you. All right, take care. Nice to meet Bye -bye. you. We have several examples of elevator pitches on our website. You'll find them in the job shop section at myfoxny.com. While you're there, you can also check out some of the Fox 5 job shops. Yeah, the well, pitches by idea. actors, by actors, by, by simulated pitches, right? What's that? Simulated, right? That was... Oh, uh, it's simulated. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't like what's... being cornered in an elevator. Mm -hmm. That, to me, is a strike against you. Well, I think if... Call me crazy. Uh, yeah. Nobody wants to be cornered in an elevator and pitched a job. Rosanna is onto something, and it happens to her <laughs> a lot. You get cornered quite a bit. I you get, sound a little I get, claustrophobic. Well, I, I do. That's true. The, the idea, though, is not that it's just in an elevator. At a career fair, at a cocktail oh, okay. party, the idea well, is that you have 30 seconds to make an impression. If it seems like you're harassing someone, you know you're making a mistake. So right. how do you have a natural conversation and make an impression on someone? Okay. We'll check it Good out. Advice. Thank you, Lisa. Right. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you.